Our story begins here, in the valley of the Zene and Pajotaland, not far from Brussels. It's a magical region. Welcome. Step into our story, the past and the future of our family brewery Lindemans. We have lived here for many years on our farm brewery and our family has been in the brewing business since 1822. Yes, it all started here in 1822 and since then there have been at least six generations of Lindemans brewers. Joost Frans was the first of them, followed by his son which started the family tradition. Then came my great-grandfather Theophile and my grandfather Emile, whose children René and Estor continued brewing. That's my uncle René in the left frame and my father Nestor in the right frame. In 2006, my father and my uncle passed the baton on to my cousin Geert and myself. Thank you, dear family and everyone who contributed to the wonderful start of this remarkable story. Maybe even as remarkable as the story of our most important family member. Here she is, the mother of all beers, the mysterious Lamic with its 1001 tales and a secret recipe that dates back till the Middle Ages. Let's go outside. You can't actually hear or see this, but the air in our valley is saturated with hundreds of special wild yeasts, with Brettanomyces bruxellensis and Brettanomyces lambicus being the most common of their kind. These types of yeasts are unique. They are our distinguishing feature and our defining attribute. These microorganisms allow us to brew beer while using a unique method and that's a spontaneous fermentation. This makes our brewing process both natural and depending on nature. We continue to use the same brewing methods as we did 500 years ago. Of course, we also relied on new technology, but the basic principle remained the same. Our lambic is brewed with spring water, 70% malted barley, 30% wheat and aged hops. Once all of the ingredients went through the unique brewing process, the resulting mash goes into the cool ship. Open the windows, let the wind blow freely in our brewery. The wild yeast enchants and seduces our freshly brewed mash by the hour, which sits in the big basin, the cool ship. The inoculation of the wort by the local wild yeast is the start of a very long fermentation process. How long? Up to six or seven months, followed by a year of maturation. Did you know that most Lambic beers are still bottled in champagne bottles with a cork on top? This tradition dates back to the early 19th century, when Lambic brewers collected champagne bottles in Brussels in order to ferment their Lambic. These bottles were strong enough to withstand the pressure of fermentation, so that's how the sparkling Lambic or Geuze started its existence. The latter also known as the Champagne of the Pajotaland due to its similar fermentation process. So in short, to brew a Lambic we use the finest natural elements that the region has to offer. The unique air, the wood from our barrels and of course the pure spring water kept deep below our brewery. Yes, like wine, Lambic is also rooted in the region. Even though Lambic can be perfectly well sampled as is, it mainly gets used to produce old keus or is blended later on with fruit or even spices. Behold, our old creek. In the late 70s, Charles Finkel convinced us to export our old keus and old creek to the USA by sea. What we didn't know then was that the movement of the waves could reactivate the refermentation of the beer, pressurizing the bottles and causing the corks to pop out during the trip. To prevent this, we perfected an alternative production method for our creek. Since then, we add juice from freshly pressed sour cherries, which we macerate with a lambic that is aged for at least one year, before stopping the fermentation using pasteurization. In doing so, we have turned the world of creek upside down. Merci Charles. We now have a much broader range in Lindemans beers, such as Alfaro, a very unique Brussels beer, our Cuvée Renés, our large selection of fruit beers, and last but not least, botanical lambics. The leather brewed with a dry spicing technique in which we used one to two years old lambic with spices on oak. Needless to say, we keep innovating, just runs in the family. All well and good with this presentation. Hopefully you are by now convinced of the unique richness of our Lindemans beers. Cheers, santé, prost.
This Lindemans family of ours has been seriously expanding. Here are cards from different relatives in Asia, America, and closer to home, France. Lindemans has captured many hearts across the globe. That's how I learned my languages. One has to keep up with the times, you know. And now it's your turn to taste the lambic beers of Lindemans. Cheers! In any case, welcome to the Lindemans family. And let us continue to write this wonderful story together.